So I was before, so now I'm going to be more uh, concrete about these things that we've been talking. So I'm going to try to be as macro as possible. There's a lot of technical things here, but uh, what I'm interested in these technologies is how can we make this real, not just talk. And as well, I'm particularly interested in blockchain and AI for good. And I think Mauritius is a fantastic place where actually I believe this can actually be put in place. Um, not just because of being a fantastic island that is, like Mark Twain said, be like a paradise on earth, but as well because being a young democracy, a young country, you have all the opportunities to do this and not having the, the areas of legacy that are very important for this. So, how can we prepare with these technologies? And uh, so I, I'm a writer and I'm a, as well uh, a person that's been discussing and researching about these areas, but as well I'm doing a lot of technology things, especially on blockchain and AI. I actually build a software that is used right now by a couple of governments on the planet, and uh, we have actually one African uh, pilot at the moment with close to one million people that is going on using blockchain technology. And these are two of my books where I'm reflecting about this. So, what I'm going to be talking is about precisely where the conversion between AI technologies and blockchain are shifting everything we're doing. So, I start with the legend. This is still the world economy, a huge part of the world economy. <laughs> and ironically, when you look at blockchain technology or even machine learning, it's a digital ledger. So, trying to make this very simplistic, it's ledgers. This, these books in notaries, governments, in banks, they still exist. You find it all over the world for land registration, for anything, for even for healthcare. So, what you're trying to do with blockchain technology and AI is putting this digital. It's not, let's be very, very simple. I know that there's a lot of layers of technology, but you're digitalizing this. And until we digitalize this properly, nothing else will work. So this is a very fundamental thing that we need to think. It's not so complicated as we sometimes make it happen. It's digitalizing this process and making it effectively, scalable and useful for us. So, cryptography. This is one of the things that blockchain technology made happen. The idea of crypto in the sense of crypto security and as well digitizing data and making it easier and secure. So then, remember the internet in 1998? We're still there. This is actually 1998. There were a lot of people saying, including CNN, that there's no future of the internet. It's very difficult to scale. It's a completely flaw. In 2000, we had the dot com boom, and now the internet is the biggest industry on the planet, the biggest money making, the biggest corporations. We are here when it comes to blockchain and AI. Of course, as you look at the beginning of the internet, you could not really stream anything. You could not even send an email properly. So we have a lot of these things happening right now when it comes to AI and blockchain. So, when you look at blockchain, we create a trusted record of human data, ID, and of course our present history. And machine learning and blockchain are not two different things, are things that are working in parallel. Axel mentioned the idea of gamification for blockchain. Blockchain opens and works because of algorithms. Algorithms are part of machine learning. Of course, machine learning is when you have a machine that starts learning, that's therefore AI. But this is particularly important. So, we are in a digital data driven world, as all the speakers before mentioned. But it's not so much about the data, it's about the identity of the data. Our own identity, our government's identity, our healthcare records, our financial records, and making sure that this helps us get a better performance, get better results, and help us be more prosperous. And this is very important. But as fire and electricity made a massive revolution in the history of mankind, when you put blockchain technology and the AI technologies, and as I mentioned, AI is still in its inception, we have something revolutionary that never happened in the history of mankind. And this is a very important thing to bear in mind. We need to start learning about this, and we need, first of all, start using it now, not in two years, now. All of us. So, 
How can you look at this? So we need to look at, there's a lot of considerations this. I'm going to put some of this in my slide share. And I have a lot of things written in intelligentisq.com. And as well, I'm providing things to um, Transcom. But we need to look at all these different things. So there's 10 things here. So risk and warranties, first of all. This is not a simple task. It's a very sensitive task that will change everything. But at the same time, it's still mankind. It's still operations that have to be done at the scale. So there's a lot of possibilities, but at the end of the day, it's about digitizing the ledger that I mentioned before. It's about digitizing identity and contextualizing this and making sure this is scalable and useful to use. So, very important thing, and there's a lot of information here. So, we need to make sure, first of all, that the basics are in place. We need to have a strategy, but we need to start now for small scale projects and then make it bigger. Do pilots, test, and make sure that we take things to the next level. And of course, as I mentioned before in the panel, for the ones that are here, 90% of the world economy is still not digital. And this is the fundamental thing we need to consider. Because this is very beautiful, we need to look at this. There's a lot of work being done, there's a lot of projects, but we need to be much more looking at the data and the different areas. So and as you look at right now the data, especially the central banks, there's a massive opportunity here. There's a massive opportunity for the central banks and the governments to start looking at the financial data, the tax data, the healthcare data, and creating an identity holistic for the country. And that's where smart country technology can actually help significantly. And of course, we, we're talking about technologies that are very, very um, disrupted, but as well, very impactful for everything we do. So you just need to look at the fabric and take this into the fabric of society. And I will pass a couple of slides so that go a bit faster. I have a couple of so conclusions um, for the last 30 seconds. AI and blockchain are right now in the third setting. So we are still in a very, very early stage. So the opportunity that was mentioned before is for all of us. But we need to make sure that we take these technologies and we start using it through education, programs, and pilots and creating sandbox for governments between banks, industry players, big players of technology and adaptives towards the needs of the, bank, the governments and the companies that we have in society. So, there's a lot of more research, I'll pass this, I finished my time. Um, I think the, the last probably thing is that we need to make sure that we are prepared for this. And being prepared is starting now. Starting to work, starting to exercise, and creating plans where actually we can all be part of this. We cannot separate people from this. Thank you so much. Thank you.